Ahora sí, los dueños del swing, para que sepa. Good morning. Got our coffee. Got our plans all sorted out. Well, we're down to two things. <laughs> we're gonna do one of two things today. Piacocha or something like that, and then oh, Cascada Peguche. It's on this map. We are here-ish? We are here. The Laguna Cuyacocha is here on the Cotacachi Mountain the volcano. Um, and Cascada. Cascada. Cascada Peguche is up this way. Yeah. Walk to the Cascades or uh, head on up to this uh, Laguna. The Laguna is a little bit dependent on weather. Oh, hey, let us know. Did we make this coffee right with the sock? Don't. You can't do it wrong. I mean, there's not coffee grounds in here and it tastes like coffee, so. Boom. Boom. <laughs> if for some reason you have a coffee sock and you've been doing it a different way, you got the footage, you know how to do it. Hold it. Try and get up there. He said if it starts to rain, we should turn around because it gets a little peligroso and what's peligroso? Dangerous. Oh, a bit of a thrill seeker myself, so. <laughs> Are you sure this is the street we found food on? Nope. Anyways, we're gonna grab food and then probably try and make it up the mountain. Cinco huevitos, 50 centavos. That's this. Quail eggs. Cheers. Yeah, th these are quail eggs, guys. Pretty bomb. Pretty bomb, yeah. How much was it for five? 50 cents. I might pick up myself a kanguro. Kanguro? That's a fanny pack. You need a hot one, though. He needs a hot fanny pack. He doesn't really like... Nope. Not a huge fan of my... <laughs> what did you tell him? He said that they're very beautiful. <laughs> we got little little kangaroos. They're beautiful. Little fanny packs. Kanguritos. Oh, cute. Some bonitos. Killing it. Got our poutine. Or whatever. Poutine. I never had poutine before, but it seems like the place to try it. Let us know what you think, James. Tastes like a french fry to me. Como? Es donde uno va a comprar weed. At the end, he yeah, says, Do we know where to buy weed? Oh, yeah. A mí me gusta ver con la sabrosura. Alright, so here we are at the bus station. We figured out that tomorrow we're going to take a bus to Quito. Uh, we were just kind of looking at times. And it gets a bit crazy. I'll just give you the view as we walk. Also, update on the adventure to the mountain. Um, Not happening. He said follow the train tracks until you get to the pine trees and then there's like signs, you'll see it. Pretty straightforward. Certainly getting a lot of laughs and looks <laughs> right now, right here. Everybody's buying what flowers today. I feel like we should buy flowers, but I don't know what to do with them. Is it um, Valentine's Day? Oh, oh happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. Day. Um, so we just bumped into a soccer match. Let you guys see what it looks like, huh? Yeah. Nothing better than a authentic Ecuadorian soccer match. See how these guys get down. They're pretty good. They seem like they're pretty good. You'll love it. Profesionales. Profesionales. That's how the Ecuadorians play soccer. We decided to go on a, a nature wildlife tour. I've, I've been getting requests for some cow shots, so. Have you? You have a good one. <laughs> so we saw another wildlife opportunity, decided to come back out. Man, there's a lot of trash here. Yeah, don't worry, that wasn't the wildlife opportunity, that was just a trashy chicken shot. Don't worry, that wasn't the wildlife shot either, that was just a siesta. We're coming up on it now. I think they might be a bit more shy than the, than the cows, but the dogs don't seem to love us. So a pro tip Lucas taught me, back at that, that last encounter, it was uh, sheeps. We were trying to get close up of some sheep and uh, I think we encountered a property line because there was a lot of dogs barking at us and one looked like he wanted to come at us. And Lucas just bent down like he was picking up a rock, which there were no rocks, we were in a grass field, and the dog bolted. And so, yeah, apparently that's the move if you ever get approached by a dog. Probably most countries like this, you can just pretend that you have a rock. Okay. So we're going to the right, made it to the Cascades. We're checking out a suspension bridge. 
I think this is my first time on a suspension bridge. I'm pretty excited. Dude, it doesn't look at all unsafe enough. I was hoping it'd be like a real yeah. unsafe one. The one in Zamora was super unsafe and so much fun. I was bouncing up and down on it. Oh, this one's got a, it's got a little bounce got to, a it. to it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Like the suspension bridge is working. A llama shot coming up. Um, <laughs> I think this is llama poo. Hola llama. Llamita. What, what noise do llamas come to? It's got a hot hat. You see that hat? <laughs> it's a hot hat. He smells gross. Exactly what I expected a llama. They to don't smell, smell like. very good. They, they smell like wet wool basically check out these toes though it's got like talons i was hoping for a friendly llama oh he's got his ear chopped in half no wonder he's not friendly oh buddy. dude will you come here i'd like to pet you made it to the waterfall guys here we are the cascade cascadas cascadas I don't really feel like getting wet, but we'll see if we can get a little closer. Lucas looks like he's down to get wet. <laughs> How did you know? Under that waterfall, mighty, mighty Frio, Tommy M. Pretty cold. I think I'm the only person that went under it today, though. Everybody else, a uh, little too lame for that adventure. <laughs> you all right? We went to the top. There's a little cave we can duck through, apparently. All right, we're going back into the. Sounds like there's another waterfall. Back to back to town. We we're gonna do the same walk, but this bus showed up. It's 35 cents each. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah. It's loud. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little loud. Pretty clattery. But all right, bus ride got us back to Otavalo. We're going back to the hostel so I can grab a nap. I'm I'm really feeling it today. The editing cuts into my sleep schedule a little bit, like actually a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think I slept about two hours last night. All you right, know? all right, viewers. We were gonna go drop some flowers on some beautiful ladies. <laughs> I don't know about we're Val, gonna Val give them to them. <laughs> we were gonna give them to them. Dia de Amor, if, and if, we're gonna participate by grabbing roses and just handing them out. Exactly. Just First. A killer nap in, dude. Feeling so strong nap. after that nap. Going, it's like gonna go hard. Maybe 1.2 hours of a nap. Factoring in the fall asleep time, but feeling way strong after that nap, so. So we're headed down some, some street, kind of old train tracks, looking for this, uh, Hummingbird Church. And here you go, YouTube. This is why we call it the Hummingbird Church. They were a bit chewier than yesterday. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day, pup. It's for you, but... So, they turned out to be Pretty darn cheap, 50 cents a pop. Got a freebie in there. <laughs> she looks like she wants a fire. Please, dear, dear more. Bonita. Yes. <laughs> de nada, de nada. She was polite about it, but she wasn't thrilled. 
bonita. Feliz día de amor. Gracias. Oh, gracias. 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 There you go. That's what we were that looking an for. Adorable reaction. They said it was lindo. They thought it was cute. Oh. <laughs> Back in the square. Gonna look for some uh, chicas. Damn more. Damn more. Congrats. 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 Is it possible to take a photo with Toro? Can you? Yeah. Trying to press something. A mí me gusta ver con la sabrosura con que